This is a clay pigeon. Here's one just going about its business. However, if you evict the daytime clay pigeons and replace them with a nocturnal substitute, the result? is epic. Welcome to EJ Churchill where we've got a secret install of our concept for night shooting. We spray these clays with a special coating and we've got some hardware on the trap that flashes the clays every time you press pull. There's basically a load of UV LEDs on the trap that activate the coating every time you press pull. So it supercharges this clay? They look like normal clays, then you supercharge right. it and they'll be bright green when they're flying. The current prototype is top glow only? Yes, yeah, so what? Tom Day, top glow for now. Yeah. And then one day we'd like to do the bottom, but we'll, uh, we'll get in the top. You've shot these already, obviously. Yeah. Okay. Good. If, if I can hit them, you can be able to hit them, I think. Hey, that sounds like a challenge if ever I've heard one. At this point, we thought it wise to shoot some of these clays during the daytime. Oh. So that we would stand a chance of hitting them during the nighttime. To be fair, the course was pretty easy in the daytime. And of course, with a few extra hours to kill, we had a little play as well. I could hit that. Right, Michael, this is your moment, mate. This is your moment to shine, mate. Shut this up. is absolutely your moment. Get ready. First time, first time. Oh! Oh! Beauty! Oh! 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 Do you have anything to say after that epicness? Um. No, to be honest with you, I'm stunned myself that I managed to. Are you offering any coaching? Is it reasonably priced? No, it's um, £100 an hour. Yeah, I'd say that's all right. That's fair, you know. It's what, yeah, the, it's it's what the pros just <laughs> Fun over, it was time to get serious. Out with the old clays and in with the new. It takes about a quarter of a second to process. There's like a lot of power in there. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, the, yeah the, the idea is the clays come out the same brightness every time. Yeah, yeah. Can you supercharge them? Or is this the maximum brightness they come out? Is Everything's designed so that is the brightest you can get them. So we've yeah. chosen like this number of LEDs at that specific wavelength, you know, for that amount of time to balance it all out. If you look at it directly, do you go blind? <laughs> Probably if you, we use welding masks when we're like testing them. Seriously? Yeah. Oh, wow. So we shot a few practice rounds and realised that this was great fun. However, there was no more time for messing around. It was time for the 2022 inaugural Nighttime Glowy Radioactive Alien Clay World Championship. We had a little warm up. This is bizarre. Ready to shoot around, mate? I think we should, mate. We've had a bit of a play. How's the bead situation? Yeah. This is a bizarre. Yeah. It was really glowy to start with, and now it's like run out of its juice a little bit. Oh, you have to hold it under the black light. I think so, yeah. If I hold it under the black light, it might get better again. But even then, like, it's just a bit... It's weird. I think it's, you're just going to have to shoot it differently. It's a different discipline, right? This is true. Let's see what we score out of 25. <laughs> Are you hopeful? 10. 
10 out of 25. 10. That sounds good. Show some skills. <laughs> Gentle with my baby. <laughs> I'm in play first, yep. Yeah, boy. <coughs> hey, whoa. B on report C, is it, yeah? Yep. Whoa. <laughs> I'm allowed full use. Double packings, JC. How are you feeling about all this? They're pretty good, mate, actually. It's different. It's, it's you the harder the bird, the further away the bird, the more difficult it is to estimate lead, gun movement, line, everything. I think if you could set a gun up for this, that would be like the ultimate. That'd be the dream. It might be the right setup you could learn this. I think Ben Town quite enjoys this. He's enjoying a day out. Not that way. Come on, Johnny, now's your chance. <laughs> it's such a different sight picture. I know. The, the movements are completely different. <laughs> and a little bit like welding, all I want to do is stare at the bright light. Do you not find, Johnny, as you come from behind the target, draw through the target and push out in front, your eyes are drawn back to the clay with it glowing. That's what I'm finding. And you can't open the gap up without getting atta attached either to the big glowy beads or the big glowy thing, so I think it does lend itself to a short, sharp punch. Let's find out. AB Sim. AB Sim. Oh. 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 Man's not hot. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. This Whoa. is Whoa. bizarre in the most entertaining way. I feel like having disco music here would enhance the experience. In the daytime, these play the beginnings. But now, it's a whole different ballgame. <laughs> Yeah, you don't need distance. I mean, some of these boys can shoot. Well, one, one of those boys can shoot. One of them boys can shoot. <laughs> If I keep that connection right and pull through it as you normally would do, fine. But on some of the clays where you see in a big dish, it makes you look back at it. It's like somebody lamping when you're out on your estate and you see a lamp flick across the fields and you go, Ooh, who's that? If you're a gamekeeper with an estate, you'll like, know exactly what he means. <laughs> Whenever that bee bird goes off, the flash from it is just f***ing blinding. Yo, know, this is the first or sort of second official test of this. Yeah. I, I think I'm going perhaps like sealed unit traps. Seal them in, definitely. But However, the flash of the trap is pretty cool as well. Like, that is something yeah, I quite like it. I do. It's almost like somebody chucking a flash grenade in. You get that? Whoop, whoop. Right, okay. go! <laughs> it's going to be a learning experience, but I think maybe put the traps further away and the target's incoming, and then suddenly that. The bright light's cool. further away, and then the little light's getting bigger. Maybe when they get that underside colouring on the clay, that yeah? Was, uh, different. Driven clays maybe. with that will be immense. Mate, driven nighttime clays of doom. Alien laser. Nighttime clays. sim game. Why not? Is it back to me again, is it, boys? 
Looks like Johnny's cheating already. Just had a bird go there. There's no bird on it. Clearly a bird. You know what he's like. No video that. Final sim pair. Here we go. <laughs> I thought that was a met. Yeah? I did. Like completely different, completely out of your comfort zone. Makes you drag your eye away from what you're doing. Makes you th overthink, underthink, stab the gun. From a, from a setup this morning that was soft, very soft, to say the least, we were shooting the majority of it from the hip, to making ourselves look silly in the shoulder. I think you point. shot more than 10, though, for what it's worth. Hopefully, mate. I don't think I shot as many as you, maybe, but we'll see. See the trick. Their mind game is not to care. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't the mind game. It was when you called Nova. That was really difficult. It makes it, as I say, we were shooting this early and we were getting some, well, they were getting good scores and I was doing all right and I just fell apart. It just makes it a lot, a lot harder shooting the dark because you've got no reference points. I don't want to see what the scores are. Oh, mate, you would hit at least 10. At least three and a half. <laughs> now that's properly difficult. Give me a driven one. Give me something that you can't give me. Now, and I'll show you. <laughs> Bring the sun up. <laughs> yeah. Scores are in. <laughs> Ant, 16. 16. Ooh. Johnny, 17. Oh, that was the one you cheated on. <laughs> Tim, 14. Mike, Charlie. Oh, sorry. Oh Sorry is where we will leave it. Unless you have tried this, you won't understand quite how humiliating it can be. <laughs> Mate, that's so cool. Needless to say, it was different. And it was exceptionally fun. Cool is a non-word. But if it was a word, this would be 10 out of 10 cool. You could even describe this as pain. We blasted off the rest of the ammo and made some more memories. This was epic. To be fair, epic might be a non-word too. Obviously, the first thing everyone's gonna wonder is are they like five pound each like Helly's? Not that bad, no. So it's like it's a speciality target, so you're not going to use these every day. What we're working towards making them cost is about twice the price of a normal clay. It'll be about 80p. Yeah, roughly. It'll be twice the price to the clay ground, so then it's oh, up okay. to them how much they want to pass on to you, really. But to have that ability to come out on a night time, like we said, after work, in the dark, when do you get to do that? Yeah. Without it being flooded. It's, yeah, it, yeah. It could be cool. We, we don't know at this point. You'll know whether it was cool or not. <laughs> but we're going to have to find out. In all honesty, I don't think it's a stretch to consider myself a world champion at this point. Guys, thank you very much for watching. This was fun. You should try it when it comes to a ground near you. Like I said, go and follow Trap Tech, find out what they're doing, and I'm sure they will keep us up to date as to when this goes public. Take care guys, we'll see you next time. Mate, that's gonna be the best missed compilation ever seen by you. <laughs>